गुड इवनिंग मिस्टर अभिषेक गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग कंग्रेचुलेशन ऑल इंडिया फर्स्ट रैंक इन इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज एग्जाम थैंक यू सर 2022 थैंक यू ओके थैंक यू सर हाउ डू यू फील नाउ सर स्टिल नॉट एबल टू कंटेम्पलेट द फेलिंग सर या 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 Anyway, uh, expected uh, selection, but uh, sir, I am from native. Sir, I am from near to Kanpur. Sir, it's actually a small town called Oriya district. Okay. So I am from UP, sir. Basically, from UP. Excellent. You had done your uh, graduation from which college? Sir, uh, NIT Allahabad. Uh, I am two thousand seventeen pass out, sir. Okay. Okay. so anyway you are our uh, students for uh, test series interview guidance program and of course you have yes. followed our material etc yes sir so yes sir yes, can yes, you yes, briefly explain how our uh, material particularly the previous questions helped you sir <coughs> usually sir for mains uh, i followed uh, religiously this uh, ace material for mains particularly previous mm-hmm. years question yeah actually sir the available material in the market for the mains is uh, usually of sir some from 5 to 10 years previous years question mm. it's ace which gives around from 1980s to 2021 yeah. so the variety of questions and the in depth solution that is the core of mains so i found it uh, actually sir i have uh, it was my fifth attempt so okay. more or less uh, i have been through almost all coaching materials in these years and i found the as to be most suitable uh, i uh, yes, previous years also i cleared for mains and this years hopefully i secured air one so for mains i was uh, religiously following as material for uh, uh, previous years question and test series also Wow. Previous around two three years, the series I have followed for years. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so, what was your strategy with respect to interview, facing interview this time? Interview, I say the mock interview which I gave for years on twenty seventh, I think it was twenty sixth. It was twenty sixth. of november it was uh-huh. an eye opening sir actually technical part i was uh, yes i was technical part sir i was good but uh, mm-hmm. for the current affairs and particularly the defense approach as i have filled mes as my first choice and uh, so defense part for the current uh, scenario it was missing from my preparation and sir you will not believe i got a chairperson as a lieutenant general raj shukla sir Great. so most of my interview was based on defense technologies which i got the feedback from the mock interview so hopefully okay. i prepared the defense part from the mock after mock my mock interview only so hmm. it was a blessing i could just attend the interview for is so naturally you must have felt very comfortable in the interview board yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. because uh, uh, usually it was the civil servants who were taking the interview but this time it was uh, from military background so that knowledge of military ongoing ongoing defense uh, uh, activities in the country and uh, development new new developments which i means i covered these in the last uh, last week of the preparation only so hopefully i could get those uh, i could click that if if it was not mock interview then uh, i would have skipped it and that would be means a detrimental in my during live interview so it was good that i could give the mock mr abhishek uh, you are very yes, honest sir. in saying that it is your fifth attempt okay you said it is fifth yes, attempt yes it was my fifth attempt yeah, yeah. see generally yes, after yes, one or two attempts time. people will get uh, frustrated or depressed or they will leave it how you could maintain the tempo for such a long time See, generally sir, actually was, uh, i was campus selected <laughs> sir actually i was campus selected in 2017 so mainly sir it was uh, means uh, i was uh, with the job preparation so with job preparation 
because exam is so much uh, lengthy i mean it is all year development so you need to be all attentive throughout the year because mm. even if one stage goes wrong your selection is not guaranteed so mm. usually i used to work hard for prelims and for mains i used to due to other engagements and during office and my job profile so mains part i used to miss but uh, that's why sir I, actually i was uh, every time i could get the mistakes which i could which i made so in last last two attempts that is 2021 and 22 Uh, in last attempt i left the job and i was fully fled uh, preparation for esc so last year sir i could track my mains mains it was the crux which i got last year only mm. so regarding inspiration and motivation it was always sir esc because i never gave any other exam i gave last my gate exam in 2019 other than esc i never gave any exam sir so i had it uh, very clear it was clear and loud that i have to give this exam only so leaving the that. leaving the existing job <laughs> really uh, it's a risky yes. one yes sir definitely yes, sir. it was uh, a risky one risky yes. one generally friends or the family members generally they don't encourage because even if if you ask me also yes, i may not so yes, sir, yes, sir. what is the motivation yes, sir, yes, sir. for resigning and preparation what is the motivation sir uh, that mo- motivation came sir uh, when i gave mains for 2021 sir when okay. i saw the i actually for mains 2021 my preparation was not uh, up to the mark i could get only the previous year's question only oh. means i practiced only previous year's question no test oh. reach nothing so when i saw a question paper most of the questions i was able to comprehend sir I, it was means if i could get the time i could do those, those questions and i could attempt only 460 marks so i felt that uh, paper is okay i just need to work upon my speed that was the main crux which i felt upon 2021 mains so i resigned even before the mains result was out because okay. i just got that crux of the mains paper i need to d- work upon my speed and then the exam is clear that's all it was so when and in 2022 mains i means i turned all the stones i gave around hundreds of test papers around hundreds of uh, mock tests i gave for mains and mm-hmm. including the previous year's question two three times i did i in fact uh, during last moments i lost the count also for previous year's question including mm-hmm. then the books the standard books which uh, are prescribed for the esc preparation i solved their examples also so it was a more of a comprehensive and I, i mean it was all round whatever it could be then i did for the mains and that was uh, means uh, actually i knew that these all things need to be done it was a checklist which i followed religiously and i, I was through it excellent abhishek excellent uh, on uh, last question see suppose yes, there is a student who is pursuing btech second year or third year he wants to crack in the very first attempt see you are the right person to advise you are the right person yes. to advise a college going student to crack in the very first attempt yes, can you tell yes, and it's a strategy yes. to be followed by a college goer sure sir sure sir i mean sir uh, i have committed ample number of mistakes while attempting for mains actually in these five attempts i never failed for prelims i was always through prelims uh-huh. and for mains i could qualify only two two times including this so strategy for every step is different sir for prelims you have to cover all the subjects i mean mm. non tech actually sir, i was never looking on the rank need to be selected because there are hardly 39 students to be selected and yes. uh, it was always marks in the mind actually the student should always focus the marks in the mind if you are yeah. through 800 you are selected target was 800 total marks 800 300 in prelims 400 in mains and uh, 120 in interview so for 300 marks in prelims you have to cover actually the prelims checks over how much how much uh, uh, the vast esc has a vast syllabus and for prelims we must make sure that we cover almost all the syllabus including non tech part hmm. and special focus on certain subjects for example applied subject i will say sir that i had a grip on the applied subject because my job was also core me- mechanical maintenance so i had a 
means I had a poor grip on the applied subject. Those applied subjects are to be means uh, very hard to be means they have to be at depth. Then non-tech part has never to be left. Usually, student leave the non-tech part. That is not because if you are even qualifying the cutoff of the prelims and you are doing extraordinarily good in the mains, then only you are through. If you are doing ordinarily good in the mains, you will be selected and. at the last you will not be able to come to the merit list and that will be very painful so syllabus has to be complete for prelims and in depth syllabus for mains mains you can leave the subject if you want for example i left the robotics part for mains mm. and but over the subject which i had grip on i mean those subjects i was confident that i will do the question so for because in mains you get the choice of omitting two sub two yes. questions usually because out of seven you can you can usually you need to do only five questions so for mains you need to have depth and for the prelims you have to have the width and the width of the syllabus Excellent. so that has to be followed and for interview usually it is the expert guidance usually and newspapers are must for interview okay. and special focus on the applied subject has to be done okay mr abhishek i have a request because interview may become very lengthy subject wise what was your preparation yes. for prelims and mains subject wise sure sir please take some sure, time sir. draft it and send a mail to us so that we can keep it in our website with your reference sure, sir, sure. and uh, uh, sure. present uh, students or future generations will bless you okay Please, uh, no, sure, sir. Sure, sir. Right Bye. Right tomorrow, I'll. Yes. Okay. Okay. God sure, bless you, sure, sure, Shyam Ji. God sure. bless you. So our pranams to your parents. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Once again. Okay. Bye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.